Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this training session. Today's session perhaps is gonna be one of the most important uh, webinars I've ever presented. It's about how do you go from feeling stuck to developing the self-confidence and the competence at the same time to succeeding as a day trader. In today's video, I've actually called it, can you get wealthy trading futures? And as I state here, it's very, very hard to become wealthy fast trading futures because usually greed takes over and a whole lot of issues come into it. However, as I state in the PowerPoint, it's easy to get rich slow trading the financial markets. I've got now over 10,000 members and I've been trading for the, over 27 years. And I've come across just about every challenge a trader can face. Now today we're really going to drill down on the greatest challenges that face traders. Now we'll probably go for 45 minutes to an hour. I'll try not to go past the hour. It's absolutely critical that you stay to the end. Now as members, there's nothing for you to buy. There's no money to spend, okay? So I want you to grab your notebook, take note, grab a pen and take notes because what I cover today will truly change the way you look at trading. If you're suffering from uh, reluctance in executing your trades, if you're um, say suffering from psychological damage, which is so common in our industry from buy a trade if it's perhaps blown his or her account two or three times, we're going to be covering this today and how to recover from that. I'm gonna be giving you real tips, ideas and strategies that work but you need to stay to the end because um, look at it as building blocks. We've got to go through all of the blocks to get there. So I'll turn the camera off now because I really want you to stay focused uh, on the slides. Now, what is very important here is that um, this PowerPoint and the handouts that I'll be referring to are in a folder called, Can You Get Wealthy Trading Futures? It's in the members area. And I'll show you why I've got a slide actually with a few other folders I wanna refer you to. And just getting back to my statement here, it's easy to get rich slow trading the financial markets. I'm going to be giving you a real plan of action today that everyone can take, even if you've got the smallest account. In fact, we're gonna be focusing on those with a small account. At the same time, I will be talking to those that have got a larger account, but let's break it down. Even if you've got five to 10 to 20,000, maybe even 100,000, if you're suffering from uh, hesitation executing the trades or a massive amount of fear or lack of self-confidence, start with a small account and build from there. Now, as you're also going to be discovering here, it's only when we truly confront our trading challenges that we can truly do something about it. You can't, you know, if you don't measure it, you can't fix it. So we're going to be talking a lot about that as well. Now, I the PowerPoint I've got here, I actually gave to my live trading room uh, members last week. And I said, look, I'll get around to doing a video. And one of my members actually sent me a uh, this email yesterday, which was Monday the 13th in, in Australia. And it just about, yes, it's great uh, running a room. Uh, and I've actually removed his name just to keep this private. Presently, I'm writing down the rules that define my edge. Thank you for reducing that. This is how you do a PowerPoint, which is this one. It seems as if it was geared towards me. That one idea that I might set that, sorry, the idea that one might set a goal of just $10 a day in order to gain confidence was an eye opener. So I'm going to be showing you how to net just 10 to $20 a day, but you'll see um, the huge amount of income you can be generating in under 18 months by doing that. Now, what is very important traders, some of you are probably about to hang up now, stop watching. Some, you know, will, will say to me, yeah, look, teach me something new, etc." And this is all about mindset. Mindset is what makes the difference in which direction our life goes, and it's no different with our trading career. This is also about how we develop the right mindset. So how do we develop the right mindset or get over the trading sins of our past? Now, 
the greatest challenge. I love this little quote. A member sent this to me a long time ago. Uh, Luke, I don't believe it. Yoda, that's why you fail. You've got to develop the belief within yourself. Now, thoughts lead to feelings. That is, what you're thinking now lead to the feelings that you're experiencing right now. Your feelings will lead to your actions, and actions lead to results. The constant thought I want you to have is, yes, I can do this. Yes, I can, and yes, I will. Because you can do this, traders. So we're also going to be, by the way, going to the charts and looking at our key setups. Very quickly, uh, as you're watching the recording, I'm not going to go through this word by word. Uh, please feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer. So what's the true potential of trading futures contracts? Now, uh, whether it be futures, by the way, and I should really perhaps put in there, all the micro Forex contracts as well. So if you can start with a small account, and so if you're suffering from a fear of trading, or if you've had uh, a, a number of bad losses in the past, or you're hesitating, why not start with a small account and build? Now, I know many of you are, are really anxious to get on trading the larger lots, but perhaps you're not ready. And so what I'm going to be showing you here is how to start with only $600, earning $10 a day, leading up to the potential of $2,000 a day within 19 months. And you'd have $133,000 in capital. The big question is, how do we get there? Now, as I mentioned earlier, I will also be discussing uh, if you start with large account, what steps you should be taking. Now, most of the things here I show you, I need you to be open-minded. And unfortunately, what I tend to find is, as we become older, so many traders become such so much more skeptical. They, they're not willing to dream. They're not willing to create their compelling future, or they think they know it all. As I, you've probably heard me say in my webinars, and any of those watching this that are in my coaching class or in the live trading room, know that I say the sign of an intelligent person is how open they are to new ideas. It doesn't mean they don't verify the ideas, but they're open to them. So I really need you to be open to the possibility. Now, as you know, I've been doing this now for over 27 years. I have perhaps um, you know, one of the largest libraries of anyone in the trading industry. I have hundreds of books. I've got research reports. You know, I've been in a fortunate position to be able to employ staff to do a lot of work for me in this area. And what I've discovered, truly, 90% of trading really is head stuff, okay? Um, where We've had two losses. Oh, oh, well, look, I might just wait and see what happens on this first, third trade. So we stall, and guess what? That's a winner, and so on. So we've got to really learn to master our mind. 5% is money management, not breaking that 2% maximum risk rule. And of course, mastering our strategies, which we're going to also be talking about. And I believe that's probably only 5% of trading. Now, a lot of the ideas that I talk to you about, and when we go to the charts, you may end up thinking, if, if it's this easy, why doesn't everybody do it? And my answer is to you, the easy things are also easy not to do. It's easy, for an example, to start taking CT trades when the, the easier thing would be just to trade with the trend. So we've got to control our feelings. So. Just once again, I need you to be open-minded, but let's get into this. And this is where some of you are gonna throw your hands up in the air and, and really go into denial and probably hang up. Okay, so be it, you're not gonna make it. I'm gonna speak to you as if your coach is speaking to you. That's what I am to you. I am your trading coach. And we need to face the challenges. And so many traders, uh, they go into denial, and usually it's an ego issue, or they come from what we call a fixed mindset. They can't handle the truth. And that's where we get down to so many people today have what we call a fixed mindset. Usually it's ego, uh, I don't want to be wrong, or I've heard it all before, or they're just not willing to do the hard yards. Okay, that's what it takes. Yet we've got those with a growth mindset, like that trader here that sent me this email, uh, openly saying, I've been stuck, but this is great. 
And so it's about having that growth mindset. So what are some of the challenges facing us? Uh, greed is a big one. Wanting to get rich quick. Rarely does that happen, traders, because quite often a trader is undercapitalized. They're trading with 5% of their trading account. Uh, but teach me something new syndrome. I come across this every day. Uh, look, I already know what the 34B is and the 2B is. <clears throat> um, excuse me. Uh, teach me something new. Yet they haven't mastered the two most important strategies, the ones that could make them very wealthy. And they're easy. And they haven't mastered those. Uh, no risk management, uh, moving their stops, not having a trading plan or step-by-step -step action plan, which we cover continually. Um, the wrong trading strategy or no clear-cut uh, rules at all. Uh, the wrong time frames. For an example, the 34B and the 2B kicks butt every day. However, if we take today, there was over 2 million ES contracts traded today. So, if you were trading, say, or attempting to trade, say, a 233 tick chart or even a two tick Renko, right? It was far too fast. You need to know when to increase the time frame because that's really about the number one reason why the trade setup won't work. Besides you hesitating or not following the basic rules, it's because the market's moving too quickly. Lack of patience. Uh, big thing, lack of discipline, and all of this comes back down to something down here, the 90 to, 80, uh, 90 to 180 day rule. You've got to give yourself three to six months to master the two golden setups. And with that, not enough screen time. Uh, so many people are addicted to the television. They'll go and watch five hours of TV every day, yet they're not willing to put three hours in front of the screen. That is our trading screen. We've got to develop what we call muscle memory and pattern recognition. All of this traders is not rocket science. Anyone can learn this, but you need to put the time into it. Fear, false expectations appearing real, the psychological damage that's been done to traders <coughs> um, uh, through blowing their accounts a number of times. And most traders recognize it was my fault. But we've got to face that, but we can get over it. Uh, revenge trading, um, you know, oh, stuff it. I've had three losing trades in a row. I'm going to get in and fire away. Uh, we, our emotions take over, not as students of the market. You need to be a student of the market. You've got to know your setups. You've got to get that screen time. The list goes on and on. Now, with this traders, I've got to say, you can't be half pregnant. You've got to be 100% committed to trading. If not, um, uh, you're better off going on a nice holiday because you're going to lose your capital. And as Luke says here, all right, I'll give it a try. And Yoda says, no, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. You can't be half pregnant. You've got to be committed. And the great part about this is, traders, if you stay focused on the 34B and the 2B, you, you really, you're halfway there. Now, when it comes down to mastering uh, the, the art of day trading, there are, there's so much information on the internet. There's so many great books like this one here, over 400 pages. There's a huge amount of information out there. So the number one thing we've got to do is really filter it down. What's my trading strategy going to be? Now, Mark Douglas, unfortunately, as most of you know, he passed at a too young age a number of years ago now, uh, but he wrote two excellent books, Trading in the Zone and The Disciplined Trader. Now, in The Disciplined Trader, which is really, I think it should be every trader's trading Bible, Here's what he says, and I can't remember the exact page number, but it was 200 odd. What I want you to do is to become an expert at just one particular pattern that repeats itself with some degree of frequency. To become an expert, choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern, preferably one is that is mechanical, in other words, rules-based traders, instead of mathematical. So you'll be working with a visual representation of market behavior. Nearly all of our setups are pattern based. Your objective is to understand completely every aspect of the system. Excuse me one moment. 
just have to have some water then. Uh, your objective, understand every aspect of a system, all the relationships between the components. And in the meantime, it's important you avoid all other possibilities and in information, meaning it's important you don't CT trade, counter trend trade. Because initially what I want you to do is trade with the trend. Now, another solution that Mark Douglas also talks about and in this great book too by Richard Wiseman is that you've got to learn to trade like a casino. And if we consider going into a casino, um, you know, do we, are we absolutely shattered if we're on the slot machine and we don't have a winner? Well, we're expecting losers, aren't we? We're not gonna get them all. And when you start to reframe this, this is something that Mark talks about, which is excellent. And this alone may make your trading career. Trading is about possibilities. The individual trade is random. Anything can happen. The individual trade means nothing if you enter the trade according to your trading rules. So think like a casino and gain the house edge, trade in lots of 20. And what we mean by that is this, do we see a dealer in a casino changing the rules of the game because they've had three or four losing hands in a row? Of course not. And that's critical also when it comes to trading. Now you may sit back and say, well, listen, Ray, that's all right for you. You've got money. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't afford to have four losing trades in a row. Well in, other, well, in that case then, you shouldn't be trading. It's so important traders that you think in trade lots of 20. And if you're back testing a strategy, it's important that you have a sample size of at least 100. But the 34 Bs, the two Bs are already proven for you. They've been around for years and they'll always work because of the crowd psychology in the way the trades set up. So it's so important you follow that 2% rule. So what gives me the house edge? I have a mathematical edge. It's my patterns. The two Bs, uh, the uh, two and th sorry, and the three Bs, of course, the 34 Bs, my indicators. Now, we call them indicators because they only indicate, but when we say using pivots or the major EMAs or on oil, the round numbers, all of those are leading indicators. My trading rules, my money management, where I trade well under 2%, but really, if you've got a smaller account, up to 2% is okay, but of course, my mindset, I know that I am going to have losses, but I also believe in the law of probabilities. Now, there's another excellent book by Dick Diamond, and it's called Trading as a Business. It's only about 160 pages long, it's not a, a huge book. But what Dick talks about in there is identifying 80-20 trades, that is trades that will produce a profit four out of five. And his question is that he asked before every trade, is it an 80% trade? And the, so he's, if you like, stacking the deck in front of him in advance. Now, what Dick says in his book here is that simplicity and consistency is the key. Traders, the 34B and 2B, how easy are they? They are trend following strategies. We are following an anchor chart and waiting for a pullback or a retracement on our entry chart. The fact is though, traders like the patience and the discipline to wait for this. And depending on the time frame you're trading, we see dozens of setups a day. Now there are five important steps that Dick um, lays out. Your chart should only have the indicators needed for your trading plan. Find one or two setups. Almost the same as what Mark Douglas says. Create a trading plan and rules for the setups. I've already given those to you. Back test your plan and rules. Commit to the plan. Not being fully committed to your trading plan will contribute to inconsistency. Trading without a plan will ultimately lead to your demise. Trading, this is a business. And so many traders don't look at it that way. Now, what I'm talking about here is developing the confidence. Now, what we need is self-confidence, and we also, at the same time, it's no good being a confident fool, that is, you've got no idea. You've got to also develop the competence, that is, the ability to do something successfully 
or efficiently. And the plan I've got laid out for you will put you on this road. Now, this, from a psychological point of view, from a growth mindset point of view, here's some of the things you must do. And I think it was the late Jim Rowan that once said, you've got to work harder on your mind than what you, were, what you do on your job. In other words, we've got to give ourselves a regular checkup from the neck up because so many people suffer from what we call a hardening of the attitudes. And we've got to work on this. And it doesn't matter what age you are. In fact, the more mature people watching this, the greater the challenge you've got because you develop, it's so much easier to develop that fixed, I know it all mindset. So we've got to develop a growth mindset. We've got to have a compelling future. When the why is big enough, why I want it, it's amazing. The how will suddenly appear. You need that hands-on coaching and training. Now, you've got, of course, in the Day Traders Fast Track program, dozens of videos. And on the Google Drive, if you haven't already spent days going through every folder there, you need to. And of course, you can enroll for my ongoing coaching or the live room. The coaching, if you want to attend the two live coaching sessions a week, around, it's $97 a month. Cancel any time. It's cheap as chips. Now, I'm not trying to sell you here. This is not the purpose of this. But any great sports person, any good business leader, they all have coaches. They all need that regular checkup and to keep their skill set razor sharp. Hypnotherapy is a great strategy. Um, uh, and I'll come to back to that in a moment. NLP, developing the right affirmations, meditation. Now, of course, uh, with all of this, I've got for you the swish pattern, information error anchoring and uh, the brilliant squared strategy. All of these create fast lasting change. You've got to create a detailed trading plan. You've got to be trading the right markets. You've got to have rules-based trading strategies, Develop, have the screen time. And one great thing now about virtually every trading platform, traders, is that you can use the simulator before you go live. And that's something that gets fantastic. You can develop your self-confidence. Now, you, you all remember the great movie, The Karate Kid, and where um, the young actor here was getting frustrated because he would have his master wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. We are into mastery. Some of the best traders I know and many others will trade one or two setups and that's it. Trading is not meant to be exciting. In fact, trading can be very boring as we wait for the setup. But are you there for excitement or are you there to make a lot of money? For most of you, it's to make, well, well no, actually, for, for many of you, it's excitement, when in fact, we should be there for the money. Now, I want to change track slightly and give you a strategy here that will help you greatly. That is, if you suffer from a reluctance in executing on time, uh, what we need to do is, number one, develop discipline. Disciplines like a muscle traders. The more often you exercise discipline, the stronger or the better you become at it. Likewise with patience. The patience in only say taking 34 Bs and two Bs. As you do that traders, you become stronger at it. You become better at it and you start to develop self trust. Now, what if you're suffering from the issue of being able to execute. And, and let me tell you, this is a massive issue and no one wants to talk about it. That is, you've blown your account a few times or maybe you're trading with what I call scared money. Scared money is you're, you're petrified of losing any. Start on the simulator or when you do go live, start by um, executing only one, two or three, four or four trades a day. Increase that each day. Mark it off and celebrate. And when we tend to mark things off, traders, and yes, I'm pumping my fist here, we actually give our brains a shot of dopamine. It's like we're giving ourselves a little reward. And there's a science behind virtually everything I'm telling you here. 
Now, four trades may be a little too much. Maybe you've got to cut it back to two a day, two, maybe two for a week. This document is in the folder, which I'll show you in a moment, um, uh, on my Google Drive uh, in Word. Okay, so you can adjust this, but print them out and do it because it will help um, start to reframe what things mean to you and start to give you the experience, the self-trust and the confidence that you require. If you went to start work for a prop firm or an investment bank, you're gonna spend a lot of time doing your internship. There's gonna be, they'll put you through psychological tests. They'll do all sorts of things. Here's another form that I've uploaded for you is that it's important that you really sit down and you fill this out and something magical happens when you start to write out with the hand. Okay, so who do I need to become to be one of the best traders in the world? Now, some of you will say, look, I don't wanna be one of the best traders in the world. I just wanna earn that extra 500 or 5,000 a week out of trading. Traders, that means you've gotta be one of the best traders in the world. You've gotta be in that eight to 5% of traders that make money. Because if you're not, you're not gonna make money. Our job is to take money out of another trader's account. And we're dealing with some pretty smart people out there, but fortunately for some of us, this ain't rocket science, okay? So it means that we all can do this, but you need to develop and look at it. Who do you think you need to become? Now, what actions do you then need to take on a daily basis to become one of the best traders in the world? Now, once you start trading, even on the simulator, this is a technique that Dr. Brett, who works with SMB Capital, where I got this idea from, um, uh, has their traders fill out a daily report card every day. And they have a trading buddy, someone that it's not actually a buddy in per se, but they have someone that have got to share their daily report card and discuss it. And did I follow my rules? What did I learn from today? What about my winning trades, my entries, my stops, etc.? Now I've adapted this and put in what I think you need to be doing. This form is also there. And as I stayed up here, if you aim at nothing, you'll hit it with great accuracy every time. You can't improve it if you don't measure it. If you are serious about a trading career, this should be one of what I call uh, one of the non-negotiables along with this form. Uh, because once again, when we truly confront our challenges, we can start to do something about it. Now in the members area, all of the handouts you will find are in this folder here, can you get wealthy trading futures? And so make sure you go and you can download, and this PowerPoint will be there as well. And so you can download all of these handouts that I'm referring to. But some other key folders here, and if you haven't already, you should be going through every one of these folders because there's literally dozens of handouts and indicators and whatever, all included in here. So here is one very important folder. Four strategies for, for mastering your mind. What I did is I hired a hypnotherapist to actually record uh, trading affirmations for you, to record um, some hypnotherapy sessions for you uh, with or without music. I've also got one here on lofty questions, which is, um, uh, and, and traders questions are a form of answer, of, of um, uh, a language. And so, and there's a whole lot of handouts there, including the PowerPoint and a link to a webinar I did on this. You've, I know you get sick of my voice, but hey, if it makes you wealthy, so what? I want you to go here and download these and listen to these on a regular basis. There's also the Discipline Trader webinar, another one of these type webinars that I did where I went, went through and I've also transcribed a number of, or I had my staff actually transcribe, uh, a number of the soundtracks to Mark Douglas videos. And there's a ton of great stuff of his on YouTube. But start with this folder here, start here. And then most of the things that I talk about then are in there. And I think I did two webinars. Is it either three? Two, I think. So make sure you do that. So four essential folders, or there's actually just five, four strategies for mastering your mind. 
uh, there's one there called Trading Psychology, NLP, full of gold mine stuff, really, on creating lasting change, the Discipline Trader, and Trade the Process. Trade the Process is where you'll find the calculators that I'll be talking to you about in a moment. Now, I don't want to spend any time on this, but we all know you've got to be trading the right market using the right charts, whether it be Renko, Tick, Time, it really doesn't matter. The strategies work on all types of markets, but the right indicators, and guess what? Most of the best indicators are free. You don't have to go and pay a fortune for them. Then, of course, you need the right strategies. So let's drill down a little bit on the strategies. Now, I love this movie, City Slickers. When was it recorded? I think back in the 90s. And, oh, well, there it is there, 1991. And Curly was the old cowboy. And you may remember, Curly was really dry. Anyway, they were riding back towards the end of the movie, and Curly said to Mitch, who was Billy Crystal, uh, do you know what the secret of life is? And he, hold, and he holds his finger up. And Curly says, this. And Mitch looks at him and says, your finger? Curly said, one thing, just one thing, you stick to that and the rest don't mean shit. Mitch said, but what is the one thing? And Curly smiled and said, that's what you've got to find out. Now, when it comes to trading, the one thing, I'm going to tell you what it is, it's trading with the trend. Now, some of you go, oh, we know that, we know that. Well, why aren't you already rich then, if you already know it? Don't be offended, traders. I'm just posing the question. If you already have all of this knowledge, why haven't you put it in place? Because there's a massive difference between knowing something and implementing something. We need to look at trading. Uh, and the dark blue line, if you like, is the ocean. You'll never hold back the tide. You'll never hold back a tide. And the smaller trends, the retracements, the pullbacks, are the waves. So what we want to be doing here, traders, is waiting for a tracement and a pullback and trading in the direction of the ocean, of the major waves. Now, to do this, we need to change the way we look at trading, where traditionally traders have looked at their life as being hunters. We need to sit back and be snipers. We've got to sit back and have the mindset of a sniper patiently waiting for the prey to come to us. We've got to patiently wait for the setup. Now, from there, we can then start to trade. Now, with that being said, where do you start from? How are we going to work with you or how are you going to develop the confidence and the competence without risking much money? Right, we're going to start with by trading the micros. Now, if say um, uh, you're really struggling, and this is one great thing, and perhaps if I go back one step, the micros of course came out uh, a couple of years ago now, and we just saw a few weeks ago, actually, actually a couple of months ago now, the micro CL. CL of course is a Texas T, the black gold, $10 a tick. Now with the micro CL, it's only $1 a tick. Now, we need to consider also, for most of you, you're going to have day trading jobs. Oh, sorry, you're going to have day jobs, I should say. Sorry, we want you to have a day trading, be a full-time day trader. But most of you, of course, um, uh, have a job. So you're going to get home from work. And by then, it's what we call the globe session after hours. Now, there are some markets, like the micro gold, which, in my opinion, is nowhere near as good as CL. Uh, you've got the, uh, the Russell, you've got the, the Dow, but then you've got the MES, you've got um, the MNQ. There are a number of other great markets there that you can be trading after hours, but also if you can trade during the hours, because we need to remember that when we get to Globex hours, so if you're going to trade the micro NQ, you need to have at least 1,800 in your account per contract. The MES, you need to have around 1,300 in your account because it's high risk. You've got less volume. And one thing with all of that, we also need to remember our 2% rule. If you're trading the micro CL with an eight tick stop, that's $8. 
if we remember our 2% rule on $600, that's 12. So if we include our commissions, which unfortunately on trading oil, it's quite expensive. It's around, let me just say around a dollar fifty to a dollar sixty, okay, depending on your broker. All right, so it's just let's just round it off for ten dollars. So you're well under your your risk level of, of having two percent. So that is a major consideration. So a couple of rules of game. We never risk more than two percent. Now if you'll say trading the six E uh, which is the euro, great market by the way. It's um, uh, 625 a tick. Uh, if we've got a six tick top, uh, top stop, which is typical, it's 37.50 plus $5 commission. So we can see here around 21.25. However, the overnight margin is 2400. I always say to traders also, have a bit of a buffer there, all right? So if you have a couple of losses, you're still well above that. Now, it is less, of course, when you're trading during the New York session, but once again, not everyone can trade then. Now, another rule of the game, we only trend trade until we're consistently profitable as a trend trader. We limit the number of setups to a maximum of two. What are they? The 34B and the 2B. What are they? The 34B and the 2B. And we've got to be disciplined, patient, focused, and we've got to be a student of the market. Fortunately, none of this is rocket science. This is something also that I want you to print out and you need to start to do. You've got to start asking yourself empowering questions. So when you have a losing trade, What's not perfect yet? How can I improve my entry, my exit? What did I learn? All of these questions here are what we call empowering questions, where a lot of traders will say, why do I always have all these bloody losing trades? Because you're a turkey. When you ask yourself questions like that, why do I always stuff up? Your brain looks for the worst possible answer. It's not a compelling question. Okay, like here, what's not perfect yet? What am I saying here? Oh, it, could, it has the potential of becoming perfect. When you trades, what did I learn from this? How do I improve my entry, my exit? The shame is so many traders are not willing to do this. So before we get to the charts, very quickly then, how do we develop the belief that yes, I can do this? So let me show you. So say, in, in, irrespective of your income, you may have a target of only making $1,000 a week. For the young guns in the room, and for the go-getters, and those who are already financially secure, 10,000 a week may be your goal. So I'm just gonna assume here that that's your goal. So let's start with it. Let's chunk this down to small daily targets, starting with the micro CL. So you're starting with $600, and your daily target is only 20 dollars a day. Now, our objective here is to earn our stripes. That is, I believe before you start going, before you go to the big contract, you've got to earn your stripes by executing, having winning and losing trades, learning how to use the dome. That will also then build your confidence, your skills, self-belief, and at the same time, increasing your account from 600 to 6,000. Then you make the move from trading the micros over to the big contract. That's where then your target is the same target, but 200. Why is it the same? A large contract is 10 times the size. So you're going for not $20 a day, but 200. Now on this basis, if you go for $20 a day, within 18 weeks, you've got 6,000. Now, then over to the CL, within a further 18 weeks, you're up to the potential of 10,000 a week just by aiming for 200 a day. And let me say this, the, you only start trading an additional contract once you double your money. So in other words, once you go from 6,000 to 12,000, then you can start trading two big lots. Uh, then when you're up to 18,000, you start trading three. This is very conservative. The time will pass either way. Where you end up financially in 36 all the weeks, all depends on the actions you start taking from today. So let's have a look at this chart. So what I've got here is over here, the contract value 600. 
and the target's $20 uh, a day. Now what this shows me, and that's after commissions of course, excuse me again, excuse me. So what we can see here, we're leaving our income in here. So once we get to 6,000, uh, where are we? Total capital, sorry, is here. So once we get to 6,000 week 18, we are then going to start trading the big contract. Otherwise you're going to keep trading the micros and on the micros, our challenge is the commissions. So if you're paying uh, on the micros, uh, just say $1.60 uh, on the big contract, it's 10 times $1.60 is $16, where on the big contract, you're paying about $4.50 to $5. So it's only one third of the cost or even less than that. So it's important that you go from the micros to the big contract, but what a spot to start. So here, once we're up to 6,000, doing 200 a day on CL, within a further 18 weeks, is at 10,000 a week. Now, what if you say, well, look, uh, Ray, I'm already really confident. I've got good trading skills. I want to, you know, maybe I'm a bit shaky on some areas, but, you know, I'm pretty disciplined. And you're starting with 6,000. Well, you've got the potential within 18 weeks then, um, uh, what's that, under five months to be there on your 10 grand a week. Okay, so it's not going to take you forever. It's about following a plan. Now, let me just show you this, and I've uploaded these into that folder for you as well. So let's say here, we want to do this on CL, I'm sorry, on MNQ, the NASDAQ, because you get some great waves. It can be a bit of a beast, <laughs> but one thing with the micro, we're using a very wide stop, okay? And then when you build your account, you go across with 10 times what we're talking about here. So let's just say here, you're starting off with $1,800. Okay, and you are going for $50 a day. So we can see here that we've built our account up to 18, 19,000 within 21 weeks. Now, why is that important? Well, here this is 1,800 and you need that to trade this market overnight. So what that would give you is 18,000 down here. So you roll over you're paying a lot less in commissions and you're trading not 10 micros, but one contract. Now see over here, now we're up to where we're earning on $50 a day, we're earning 25,000 a week here. Now that would be trading 100 micros, where in fact you'd only be trading 10. Now let's just show, I'll just show you something else. Now what if, so you start off with CL, $600. What if you decided, okay, I'm gonna really work my butt off here and I go for $40 a day per contract. Uh, we can see here that we're up to 10 grand a week income within 15 weeks. Now I will say that that's not easy because of commissions. And let me show you the other tool that we have for you. In actual fact, Raymond, one of our members designed this. Uh, and let me just show you this one here, starting with the ES. The ES, sorry, the micro ES is $1.25 a tick. Your commission's $1.10. And typically, if it's not a really fast day, you can have an eight tick stop, same as the big contract. If we target 12 um, uh, ticks per trade, and we're going for $40, 40 a day, I only need to execute with a 75% win ratio. And this is where this is really important you can put in your estimated win-loss ratio, and it should be about 80, but let's just say it's 75, I'm going for 40, okay, I'm gonna to have to execute five trades. Now, what would this really mean then, income-wise? Well, let's have a look at this. I need $1,300 in my account. I'm going for $40 here. Uh, we can see here I'm up to, um, I'd need $13,000, I'm up to that in 19 weeks. Okay, so in 19 weeks, I now flip over to the big contract and because overnight I need to have 13,000 in my account and 400 a day is the equivalent, I'm up to 10 grand a week, 15 weeks after that. What if your goal was only $100 a day? Okay, so you can break it down and then really truly work out where you are and what you wanna do. And this is about creating a compelling future. Now let's get really conservative here. 
what if, whoops, I've got two double, just let me just take one of these off. What if you started with only $10 a day, that is target just $10 a day? And that's okay. If that suits you and if it builds the confidence, you can always start to increase that as you go along. Let's have a look at this. So I've already filled out a couple of these here. So on the micro CL, if you're going for $10 a day, and once you get to 6,000, you then go across to the big contract and we're targeting 10,000 a week, that's gonna take you 19 months to get there. That's nothing. How long does it take you to go to uni? Four or five years? What about an apprenticeship? Three or four years? And as you develop your confidence, you can increase that. When you go across to the big contract, that's only $100 a day. Now, realistically, how many trades a day would you need to execute that? Well, once again, we're gonna look at the charts in a moment. I'm being very conservative here. So what if you only had a 75% win ratio? You need to execute four trades a day. Quite often, it'll be two. You'll have two winners, and I'll show you how to pick those in a moment. Now, what about on the MNQ? You've got on the micro NQ, you've got 1,800 in your account. We're gonna go for more per day because I've also got greater amount of capital tied up and you get some great trends on the NQ. Now here, it's a tick value of 50 cents. Here the commission is $1.20. Uh, here my risk is $13 plus commission and I'm going for just $13. I need to execute six trades a day. Now, so you can see here, you don't need to do a lot to get there. And what it basically means here is, I'm up to my 6,000 capital within 34 weeks. I'm only $10 a day, and I only start trading a second contract when I double my money. Now, what if you do have a larger account once again, but you wanna be very, very conservative here? 6,000 with 100 a day. If you started off with 6,000 and went for 100 a day, it would take you, where are we here? 44 weeks to get down there before you're earning your 10 grand a week. If you just left your capital in, that's only 100 a day. So when we look at this, before we go to the charts, last of all, what if you average only $10 a day, increasing 100 a day on the big contract? In total, it's gonna take you 78 weeks. That's only 19 months, one year and seven months. As you hear me say regularly, the time's gonna pass anyway, but this is about setting realistic targets, traders. Something that everyone can do. Look, I can give you everything except patience, discipline, and screen time. You've got the world's best setups here with the 34B and the 2B. They kick ass every day, excuse my language. But stick with those. Once you own them, you may consider adding something else. Now you do also need to rec learn to recognize what constitute a trend, when may, when may it be coming to an end, along with divergence and angulation. Because, you know, once again, if you have a 2D setup, which is your strongest divergence trade, you don't wanna be jumping in front of that either. So you've gotta learn that. So finally, Please jot this down. Well, actually, there's no need. You can download the PowerPoint. One of the key things that we've discovered with the 34B and the 2B, do I have a great 21 or a great trending 21B or 34B or above on the anchor chart one? By sticking with a great trending anchor chart one and trading those retracements and pullbacks, okay, it kicks butt. So let's now go to the charts. Here we go. All right, so what we're looking at here uh, is actually the MES. Now I'll say this traders, okay? Uh, what I've done here is just behind here is my anchor chart two. Just to make it simple here, uh, I've just got the anchor chart one and the entry chart here. Now we are looking at this during the Globex session. The Globex session opened up uh, right there. So let me just mark that up for you, just there. That's our Globex session. So here, our first trade of the day, 17 minutes, we had a 34B right here. Now with the micro ES, uh, we really need, um, what did I work out it was before? How many ticks it 
a day. And that's where you've got to really work out how many ticks a day. Basically, we're up to 40 ticks a day, which is what? About um, uh, $40 a day, which is about 30 ticks. Something like, actually, let me just quickly tell you what this is. And we'll just have a look at how you would have been going now. All right, so 40. Uh, how many 1.25s? That's, there we go, 32 plus your commission. So let's just um, say, okay, we're going for eight step trades. Okay, now eight steps is $10. So we really need uh, at least three to four trades to hit our target. Okay, we've got a, just there we've got, well, that's on the open. But now we've got this one here, one, two, three, four, five, look, easily 10, it's plus 10. Okay, we get a, pullback now what this happens here what we've actually got right there for anyone that recognizes it you've got a 2d just there traders okay so you don't want to take any trades against a 2d in fact this is what we call a 2bd now look at your emas there's your t20 okay now we've got a short signal just there now remember 2ds that's a 2bd means it's a 2B, all right, but it's just after major divergence. Remember when we got started? Now, when you have the market changing trend direction, this is actually one of the most challenging times. But if we go back here, just, just going back here, uh, there is a 2B right there. Okay, that's a 2B. That's a 2B. And that is a 2B. Uh, that is a 34B all in a row basically oh well that you can classify as a 34b there as well now what about here that there is a t20-1 it's where the market is changing direction okay once again you're getting your 10 tick moves but what i was going to show you was <clears throat> excuse me again was uh, let's just go back to the nq now, what we're in right now, as I mentioned, we're in the Globex session. Now, each one of these steps, I call these steps here on the rank on the Renko, and you can use tick time-based chart, is worth $2. So if our target is, say, $50 a day, uh, of course, it may be only $20 a day, whatever it is, okay, that tells me how many steps I've really got to go for. So let's just go back to the open here. So the open of the Globex session was here. Let me just mark that up for you, it was right there. So that trade there was 17 minutes after. So there we've got our first uh, 34B. Now, traders, uh, when you have, and when you're trading the NQ, I really like waiting, or the micro, uh, I really like waiting for the super scalper to plot. Okay, uh, it just tends to work really well. And because see that right there, maybe it's hard for you to see, but that tail went above the high of that by one tick. So with the NQ, it's the only market that I've got where I like to always have my stop two ticks above or, sorry, below or above the high because of that very reason. Now, just there, what have we got there? We've got a 2D. A T7, a double top against the floor pivot, and it's a 2D divergence, divergence, and away we go. There's another 2BD which we want to avoid, and here's our first 34B that's set up. Now, uh, nice winner. Uh, we're not talking divergence because uh, that's experienced only, and a nice winner. And let's just go back down here a little bit. Okay, uh, let me just take a random spot, okay. Uh, when was that? That's the open of a Globex session. No, that's from midnight last night. Okay, so right there you've got a 2B, just here. Uh, now, there are 2B, 2B, 2B. However, had it had that one, you didn't hit your target till down here. Now, what about these ones here? That, of course, is a slingshot. It's also what we call a T40. Now, a T40 is where you're using the eight by eight on your anchor chart. So we want to take any shorts on this one with the eight by eight. Now, a lot of my members are unfamiliar with the eight by eight concept. On my Google Drive, you'll see there is a folder there called eight by eight where I did a, or conducted a webinar specifically on using this little channel you can see here. See this channel, the, the um, 
the white dots and this blue line we want to take any trades in the direction of that and back here any trades in a direction of that including the tails it kicks but it's actually a concept I got off Jake Bernstein so it works really well and it can make you and that's the thing all of these concepts here make your trading very very mechanical now let's now look at oil I want to say oil at the micro CL once again the market opened where are we here at dust uh, I've got it from 1700 just there okay oops let me just do this one here there we go so that was the open of the globe session. well a couple of minutes later anyway so what have we got right there that there traders is a 2b plain vanilla 2b one two three four five six now that only touched six steps now with a 2b what I'm actually after and most CL trades you may remember on this spreadsheet here we had uh, was it on is it on the PowerPoint let me just pull this up and show you this is important so here on CL we're after we've got an eight tick stop so ideally we're after eight tick target now we go to break even uh, at plus five now you might there's a whole lot of things that we could talk for an hour on, on just break evens and trailing whatever but we do have an eight tick stop and once we hit plus five we're then going to start to go to break even now with all these markets too there are times of day when they when they trade best now see this just here that there is right there a t40 trade there there's your eight steps just there okay so you can see there your t40 is just there. now see the green candles now when you have the green candles like that remember you want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame so we're waiting for the candle to close on the anchor chart one now what that means is that wouldn't get you in till 61 now 61 uh, there was right there which coincides with a sell stop anyway so if you use a sell stop one two three four five six seven well there's ten ticks so there's your move that's your break even that was the open of the market but we go back here look at this 2b 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 we want to ignore all of these other trades we don't want to be taking the counter trend trades why a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush okay once you mark, and that's the open of the market once you master trading with the trend and you're consistently pro I'm just going to go back to another random area traders just here and we'll talk about this here um, uh, then you can consider taking other trades now what about here remember whenever we've got our major EMAs that are flat we want to avoid taking the trade okay you want to avoid whenever you see your major EMAs on any of your time frames are flat we've got to wait for what we call a fanny of like right here see that there here's my first one here's my second we wait for the fanning of the EMAs simple rule so remember whenever we've got sideways action like this yes you can trade the wide swings that's more advanced you stay out of the market until you start to see a fanny remember on ten dollars a day you only need traders look at this here you had a 2b there 2b there you're done you're finished now if you're after your 20 there's another one this is actually does that turn into a break even one two three four five six look you touch seven and you bounce off the pivot okay you're just waiting for there's a 2b there and there is one right there okay there's a 34 here is another 2b uh, there is a 34 uh, there is another 34 and there is uh, that is an overshoot but let's have a look slide overshoot look at your anchor chart it's a 34 on your anchor here is another 34 what about this one here well let's have a look at this <coughs> excuse me if you had have taken that one now that there was a pivot bounce you can see price action bouncing off the pivot 
right there and it was just starting to set up as a 2b here's some divergence little bit you may have had a losing trade there but look at this there's a winner there's another winner okay so build that in as and you would have been down eight ticks Do you remember we're using it when we're using a buy stop or a sell stop our stop is going to be eight ticks now that's eight dollars on this market uh, on the big market on the big contract um, that's $80 now what about just last of all I love the 6e look at the 6e um, let me just show you this right now so this is just set up this is the 6e right now look at this 2b you've got there <clears throat> excuse me so there is your 2b right there now the market opened up way over here now what you did have uh, no wouldn't have been able to take them Okay, you actually had a T20, but here is your first trend trade, and you had your last one before the market closed there. Okay, so you had one there, and you've got this one there. Now, here, uh, all you need to net, and I just want to show you this, okay? Um, so six ticks uh, on the uh, uh, EC, on this particular market, is 37.50. Uh, per contract now I just want to show you this because this is a great market and when you've got 24 2500 dollars uh, it's a great market to consider so let me just show you this so uh, say if you're trading there with 20 let's just make it 25 2500 and it trends beautifully get some great trends here and you're going an average 125 a day for, for that because it works really well all right so here you're trading the 6e uh, down here you're up to your 10 grand a week potential within 14 to 15 weeks let's just make it 100 a day and okay all right it takes you 19 weeks but look at this this is one of the things that's great about this uh, where's the spreadsheet and the two B's and, and the 34 B's work an absolute treat all right so it's 625 US a tick uh, 625 whoops 24 okay um, your commission is just say five it's about five dollars to say 520 okay so we're going with a six tick stop is fairly typical and let's just go for a six tick target okay six ticks let's keep conservative on the 75 percent and we're after 100 a day so there you need seven trades a day now you just trade your 2b stay focused traders stay away from your 2bds and just trade your 2bs and 34bs that's six trades a day trading with the trend okay so the tools that we've got there members is you sit down stay conservative so that way you're also not disappointing yourself okay and creating unrealistic expectations but the unrealistic expectation that when you're expecting to make your five or six hundred dollars a day and you've only got a couple of grand in your account okay um, uh, so what I want you to do if you're struggling and let's finish up with this what you've got to do traders is, is target ten dollars a day develop the confidence in picking the trades and go to 20 a day okay this is how you develop competence and confidence and self-discipline and patience and as we've seen here traders within 17 18 months you've got the potential there of earning like if you're after uh, 5,000 a week okay you're there within what's that 1.2 years on only 100 a day per contract so we'll finish up uh, right here traders but you can do this you truly can you've got to treat this as a business you've got to create your trading plan if you're still really struggling go through all the videos again on cheat sheets or better still come and attend some of the the uh, monthly coaching sessions 97 a month uh, it's a little more for the live room but it's peanuts in comparison but uh, you've got all the resources there that you need so thank you traders and I hope for most of you you've gained a lot of benefits out of this little webinar here thanks traders <music>